Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I gotta try and work on removing this air conditioning unit. And as you can see, it's been taped down with plastic all around it. The shroud is completely gone and it's been glued down. So just like the back bumper, uh, somebody got really wild with the glue and I've somehow got to get this off, scrape it off, and see if I can get this thing removed so that we can get a new one put on. And just like I did the back bumper, I'm using Goof Off. Basically just gonna pour it directly on there, let it sit for a few minutes, and then take my floor cutting knife and scrape out the, the glue. This is one of those moments where I'm questioning my sanity. Um, repair people, please, for all that's right in the world, do not use this heavy gray plastic epoxy glue. Because for those of us that need to repair stuff later, it is a nightmare. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm still working on the air conditioning unit and I realized that from the underside, I can cut off the screws that go around the entire outside of the unit that have screwed it into the top here. So I am going to get the grinder and grind all of these screws off and then I'm going to get one of my jacks floor jacks maybe two and put a wood base here and use those floor jacks to lift the unit completely up So it looks like my strategy might be working. You can see the glue is starting to come up because of the upward pressure that I've put on the air conditioning unit. So I'm gonna get a spatula and see if I can start scraping some of that off now that uh, there's some upward pressure and things are starting to come loose. Okay, so that definitely worked. It's a lot of work for me overhead with a small drill and upward pressure. It's kind of rough, but um, what I had to do was draw a hole basically to the side of the screw 
and that opened the hole up enough to be able to push the screw up and through. So you can see that what I'm doing is definitely working and I'm starting to get lift and separation. So I just have to keep at it, stay patient, just take my time. So I was just looking at the outside and noticed that I've got a big buckle. I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but I've got a couple of buckles going on because of the pressure, the upward pressure that I'm putting. So I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and release that pressure and see if those buckles will come out. I hope I haven't done some permanent damage here. That would be bad. Okay, that looks much better. Thankfully, everything pops back into place and I know better now than to put that kind of pressure on. I'm just gonna have to wait until the adhesive and the screws are all loose and, and that I'm able to put pressure on the unit to lift it up. And we have liftoff. See the entire unit moves now. I actually had to drill holes around some of these screws that I just could not get um, from the underside. I couldn't get them to shave off. And uh, of course the glue was so thick that I couldn't get them to drill out. So I just had to drill holes next to the screws. Weaken the flange here. You can see where like I drilled another hole right next to the screw head. And then I was able to take this pry bar and just pop it all off. The compressor is what's super heavy. It's on this side. I'm having a hard time even getting it to left. So at some point, I think it's just going to all go. go okay oh well you did it you're victorious down. victory Ooh. brad loss tree that was a lot of work one point brad negative one to the tree good job okay it'll be fine okay all right looking down from the back side of the trailer here's the hole from the air conditioning unit you can see all the glue and the outline of the unit itself, all the holes. And now I'm gonna take a scraper and just scrape off that excess glue and then turn it over to my good friend, James West, to install the new one. So happy to have this thing off.